I treat patients in a busy emergency department in Center City, Philadelphia. It's a chaotic environment. I never get enough time to spend with my patients. But I try to always ask my patients where they live. We have patients coming to us from all over the city of Philadelphia, which is the sixth largest in the US. Working here, I noticed that patients from certain neighborhoods like Kensington and Hunting Park and Strawberry Mansion were sicker than patients from other areas of the city. But I always chalk this up to um, a decreased access to healthcare. But I think it's more than that. In Philadelphia, there is as great of a 20-year life difference in life expectancies by zip code. Where you live is the strongest predictor of how long you will live. Geography matters. And as an academic physician at a hospital, I was getting frustrated because I wasn't doing anything to decrease this gap. I never received a playbook in medical school to design healthier communities. I'm an ER doc, I don't know, I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew I needed to get out of the ER and into some of these zip codes. This is Fairhill Square Park. It's known as one of the roughest neighborhoods in Philadelphia. It looks nice, but shootings happen here in the middle of the day. And if you go three miles south to where those tall buildings are in the back, that's where my hospital is. And lifespan increases by almost 20 years as you go only about three miles. People die here at an earlier age. So I asked a nonprofit organization, the Food Trust, they, they operate a farmer's market in this park. I asked them if I could bring my medical students and if you could have um, a pop-up stand right at the farmer's market on the bottom of your screen. So at this stand, we had medical and pre-medical students talk with people coming to the park. And we asked them what their community needed to be healthier. People said things like, we need better access to fresh fruits and vegetables. We need better access to health care. That didn't surprise me. But what surprised me was the theme of safety coming up over and over again, that they needed safer street corners. They needed safer places for their children to play. They needed to stop the influx of drugs into their community and the violence that comes with that. So we captured these insights and the direct quotes from these community members about what the barriers were to health and what the solutions were to health. And our team of medical students created uh, this campaign called Health Insights 215 after the area code of Philadelphia. And they captured the insights, these hyperlocal insights of community members, and they posted on social media, on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, and this, was, this project really developed a deeper empathy for our students and us about these communities like Kensington and Strawberry Mansion. We also had the opportunity to engage in this community in this uh, school uh, uh, park that you see here. And in this park, there's this playground. And these playgrounds in these urban areas are some of the only places where children can play safely. And we partnered with a nonprofit organization called Studio Ludo to research this playground. So we set up these sensors uh, across the playground and we were able to detect uh, how much and how quickly children played uh, here. And, and we got this data, and we think this data like this can help schools, can help cities to build better design playgrounds. And we know if we can get kids to exercise at an earlier age, they're, they're going to reduce their risk of type 2 diabetes and obesity. And maybe these kids won't end up like in my emergency room, like those sicker patients that I see. And when they grow up, maybe they can defy the odds of shorter lifespans in their zip code. I want med school to look more like this. Students engaging with community members and organizations because the treatment team of the future needs to go beyond the traditional healthcare actors. We need community members, we need community organizations, architects, city planners, and designers to create um, create neighborhoods that, that have a decreased um, health, health disparities. So I am not a uh, community activist. I'm not a public health researcher. I, w I work in an emergency room, but I was compelled to go into uh, these zip codes because people's destiny should not be determined by what zip code they were born into. How might we reduce the health disparities in our own neighborhoods? Um, I suggest a few things. Number one, find a zip code near you where people die at an earlier age. Two, engage with a nonprofit organization 
that works in that community that already has a relationship. And three, start a project with that organization to try to reduce these health disparities. Thank you.